Welcome to the spoken tutorial on vegetarian recipes for 19 to 24 month old babies. In this tutorial, we will learn about calorie requirements, preparation of some nutritious vegetarian recipes. At this age, babies are ready to eat the same meal as the rest of the family. Along with complementary food, Babies should be breastfed until 2 years of age. During this period, 550 calories of energy is required every day. Babies at this age should be given 1 cup of food. A cup is about 250 milliliters or 16 tablespoons of food. It should be given five times a day. Let's begin with our recipes now. The first recipe is stuffed khandvi. To make this recipe, you will need one tablespoon roasted Bengal gram flour, 50 grams curd, one tablespoon crumbled paneer, one tablespoon steamed cauliflower, two teaspoons peanut powder, you will also require 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon cumin seeds powder, 1 fourth teaspoon chili powder, 1 fourth teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of ghee, 2 pinches of salt. I will first tell you how to make the stuffing for khandvi. Mix crumbled paneer, steamed cauliflower, and peanut powder together. Heat half teaspoon ghee in a pan. Saute the mixture on a pan for 5 to 7 minutes. Add cumin seeds powder, chili powder and a pinch of salt in it. Mix it well and allow it to cook for 4 to 6 minutes on low flame. Our stuffing is ready. To make the rolls, Take curd in a bowl, add turmeric powder, ginger garlic paste and a little amount of water in it. Add a pinch of salt and mix it well. Add roasted Bengal gram flour in it and mix again. Make sure there are no lumps. Now pour this batter in a vessel and cook it for 5 to 7 minutes. Stir it continuously till it becomes a thick paste. There should not be any lumps in the batter. Next, apply half teaspoon ghee on the back side of a large plate. Pour a thin and even layer of the batter across the plate. We will call this khandvi. Allow the khandvi to cool for some time. Now, Spread a thin layer of the stuffing mixture on this khandvi. Next, cut the khandvi into equal sized strips. Then, gently roll each strip tightly. Stuffed khandvi is ready. Our second recipe is Kodo Millet Dosa with Sunflower Seeds Chutney. To make this, we will need 15 grams Kodo Millet, 15 grams black gram, 15 grams roasted sunflower seeds, 1 tablespoon grated coconut. We will also need 1 finely chopped tomato, 1 green chili, juice of half a lemon, half teaspoon ghee, 2 pinches of salt. Procedure Wash and soak kodo millet and black gram in water for 7 to 8 hours. After soaking, make a fine paste of it in a mixer or stone grinder. Keep this batter aside 
for 8 to 9 hours for fermentation. Once the batter is fermented, add a pinch of salt and mix well. Next, heat ghee in a pan. Pour a spoonful of batter on the pan. Spread this batter in a circular shape. Let it cook from both sides for 2 to 3 minutes. Kodo millet dosa is ready. I will now tell you the procedure to make the chutney. Take roasted sunflower seeds and grated coconut. Add one green chilli, tomato and a pinch of salt. Grind it into a paste in a mixer or a stone grinder. Take this out in a bowl. Squeeze half lemon and mix it well. Sunflower seeds chutney is ready. Serve it with the dosa. Our third recipe is sesame seeds and drumstick leaves cutlet in curd curry. Ingredients required are 1 tablespoon sesame seeds powder, 1 tablespoon roasted Bengal gram flour, 20 grams washed drumstick leaves, 100 grams curd, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. You will also require 1 fourth teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 fourth teaspoon mustard seeds, 7 to 8 curry leaves, a pinch of salt, 1 teaspoon ghee. Procedure Heat a pan and dry roast sesame seeds until they turn golden in color. Allow them to cool and later make a fine powder of it using a grinder. Next, heat a pan and add drumstick leaves and saute for 5 minutes. Take this out on a plate. Add the sesame seeds powder to the sautéed leaves. Add roasted Bengal gram flour, turmeric powder and a pinch of salt. Mix it well. With clean hands, knead a dough by adding a little amount of water at a time. Then divide the dough into two balls and flatten it into cutlets. Next, heat half teaspoon ghee in a pan. Now, roast the cutlets in this pan until both sides are cooked. Keep them aside for later use. We will now make the curry. Heat half teaspoon ghee in a steel pot. Add cumin seeds, mustard seeds and curry leaves to it. Once the seeds splutter, add whisked curd and turmeric powder. Cook this for 5 minutes. Once the gravy is cooked, add sesame seeds cutlets. Let it cook for 3 to 5 minutes on a low flame. Sesame seeds and drumstick leaves cutlet in curd curry is ready. Next recipe is foxtail millet pulao. Let us look at the ingredients required. 1 tablespoon soaked foxtail millet. 1 tablespoon sprouted black-eyed beans, 50 grams curd, 2 teaspoons peanut powder, 4 teaspoons grated carrot, 1 small chopped onion. The spices needed are 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon chili powder, 1 fourth teaspoon cumin powder. Other ingredients required are 7 to 8 curry leaves, a pinch of salt and 1 teaspoon ghee. Before we begin, I will tell you the procedure for sprouting. Wash and soak black-eyed beans in water for 8 to 9 hours. Later, put it in a strainer and rinse it thoroughly with water. Let all the water drain out and then tie it in a clean cotton cloth. Keep it aside until it sprouts. We will start making the recipe now. Heat ghee in a pressure cooker. Add onion and curry leaves. Saute it for 4 to 5 minutes on a low flame. 
Next, add sprouted black-eyed beans, foxtail millet, carrot and curd. Now add all the spices and salt in it. Mix it well. Add 1 cup of water and mix again. Pressure cook this for 4 to 5 whistles. Our foxtail millet pulao is ready. All these recipes are rich in protein and omega-3 fatty acids. These recipes are a source of vitamin B complex, phosphorus, potassium and zinc. They are also a rich source of calcium, magnesium, iron and sulfur. Include these recipes in your baby's daily diet for good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on non-vegetarian recipes for 19 to 24 month old babies. In this tutorial, we will learn about energy requirements for 19 to 24 month old babies, preparation of some non-vegetarian recipes. Let us begin. During 19 to 24 months, the baby requires up to 550 calories of energy per day. This energy should come from complementary food. In this period, one cup of food should be given each time three to five times a day. Make sure to use local and seasonal food items. Various non-vegetarian foods like fish, eggs, chicken, and meat can be given. Along with complementary food, breast milk is necessary too. Breastfeeding is recommended up to 2 years of age. Let's begin with our first recipe which is fish cutlet. To prepare this recipe, you can use 150 grams of any locally available fish. For example, Salmon, mackerel, pomfret, cod fish, etc. I will use 150 grams of cod fish. Other ingredients required to make this recipe are half finely chopped onion, one egg, two tablespoons of chopped coriander leaves, one tablespoon of roasted Bengal gram flour. 1 tablespoon lemon juice, 1 teaspoon ghee or oil, 1 fourth teaspoon salt. The spices required are 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon cumin seeds powder, half teaspoon coriander powder. Procedure Take 150 grams of washed and cleaned pieces of fish. Apply salt, turmeric and lemon juice on it. Keep it aside for 25 to 30 minutes. Pressure cook the fish pieces with one glass of water. Cook until 3 to 4 whistles. Let the pressure release on its own and then open the lid. Take out the fish pieces and separate the bones and skin from the fish. Slightly mash the fish using a spoon or clean hands. Take the mashed fish in a bowl. Add chopped onions and chopped coriander leaves to it. Then add red chili powder, cumin powder and coriander powder. To bind the mixture, you can even add 1 tablespoon of roasted Bengal gram flour. Mix everything well and make round balls of this mixture. Flatten the balls to make the cutlets. Keep it aside in a cool place or refrigerate it for an hour. Next, beat an egg thoroughly and add some salt. Dip the cutlets in the beaten egg and coat on all sides. Heat oil in a pan, 
fry the cutlets on both sides on medium flame fish cutlets are ready the second recipe is egg amaranth leaves curry ingredients required are 2 hard boiled eggs 30 g or 3/4 cup of washed amaranth leaves 1 tablespoon white sesame seeds half sliced onion half chopped tomato 2 teaspoon ghee or oil 1/4 teaspoon salt the spices required are half teaspoon red chili powder half teaspoon coriander powder 1/4 teaspoon turmeric powder procedure heat oil or ghee in a pan add sliced onions and saute them until they turn light golden then add the chopped tomatoes add salt spices and sesame seeds in it mix everything well and cook for 1 2 2 minutes then add chopped amaranth leaves in it and saute it add the pieces of hard boiled eggs in it next add half cup of water and cover it cook for 3 to 5 minutes on low flame egg and amaranth leaves curry is ready you can also use any locally available seasonal leafy vegetable for example spinach fenugreek leaves colocasia leaves etc the next recipe is chicken balls curry ingredients required to make this recipe are 100 g minced chicken 1 cup or handful of washed coriander leaves 1 tablespoon curd 3/4 tablespoon roasted flax seeds half small onion half inch of ginger 2 to 3 cloves of garlic you will need the following spices half teaspoon cumin seeds powder half teaspoon coriander powder half teaspoon garam masala powder half teaspoon cumin seeds 1/4 teaspoon turmeric powder you will also need 1 teaspoon of oil or ghee take salt according to your taste procedure take minced chicken in a bowl and add salt and turmeric keep it aside for 20 to 30 minutes next divide this chicken into four parts and make round balls to steam the chicken balls fill 1/4 of the vessel with water place a stand in the vessel then keep the plate of chicken balls on the stand cover the vessel and cook on medium flame for 10 minutes let us also prepare the paste for the gravy take onion coriander leaves ginger garlic roasted flax seeds in a mixer add curd and grind it to make a smooth paste next heat oil or ghee in a pan and add cumin seeds once it starts to crackle add the prepared paste into it add cumin powder coriander powder garam masala powder and salt mix it well and let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes then add half cup of water and steamed chicken balls into the pan cover and cook on low flame for 5 to 7 minutes switch off the flame and garnish with chopped coriander leaves chicken balls curry is ready the next recipe is barnyard millet idli stuffed with chicken liver for this we need 4 tablespoons or 60 g of barnyard millet 2 tablespoons or 30 g split black gram 60 g or 1 chicken liver half finely chopped onion 1 teaspoon lemon juice half teaspoon ginger garlic paste half teaspoon 
fenugreek seeds the spices required are half teaspoon turmeric powder half teaspoon garam masala powder 1/4 teaspoon coriander powder you will also require 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee and 1/4 teaspoon salt procedure in a bowl wash and then soak the barnyard millet overnight likewise wash and soak split black gram and fenugreek seeds together overnight next morning rinse and drain the water from both the bowls grind them together to make a smooth batter by adding a little water in it add some salt and keep the batter aside to ferment for 7 to 8 hours Next, take the chicken liver on a plate. Apply lemon juice, turmeric powder, and ginger garlic paste on it. Keep it aside for 20 to 30 minutes. Then, heat oil in a pan and sauté the chopped onions. Once it turns light golden, add the chicken liver into it. Add salt. coriander powder and garam masala powder mix everything well add half cup water and cover the pan let it cook on low flame for 5 minutes until the water dries up the stuffing is ready once it cools down chop the chicken liver into very small pieces Next, grease the idli plates using ghee or oil. Pour some fermented batter on the idli plates. Add 1 teaspoon of the chicken liver stuffing in it. Then pour some more idli batter on top of it. Repeat this step to make the rest of the idlis. Place the idli stand in a pressure cooker and cook without a whistle. Cook for 10 to 12 minutes on low flame. Our barnyard millet idlis stuffed with chicken liver are ready. All these recipes are rich in protein, omega-3 fatty acids and choline. These recipes are sources of vitamins like vitamin D, A, B2, B3, B6 B9 B12 iron zinc calcium and phosphorus are also present in all these recipes include these recipes in the baby's diet for good health this brings us to the end of this tutorial thanks for joining